Hello again, this is video number three in my series on how to replace, uh, repair, and rebuild your auger electric motor uh, unit on the Salt Dog um, SHPE 2000 series um, poly insert spreader uh, made by the Byers Company. So, anyway, in my other videos, you'll see how to get this motor off of the auger base. Um, this motor is located right up inside of there in that picture you can see. Um, the motor is located inside the housing. You take the cover off, you can get the motor off. You can look at my other videos and see how that's done. Um, since buyers, there is a part number on here, and I'm going to contact them to see if this motor is available. It is not shown in their schematics and their diagram as being available um, separately. As you see... The motor looks pretty much like any electric motor, except for it has a splined shaft here. Or not a splined, but a um, geared shaft on the front of it that meshes with the gears in the auger unit. Also, it has a spot right there that's been um, milled out so that it fits precisely onto the auger unit. So they try to sell you the whole unit, the whole auger assembly, um, gear motor drive assembly, for somewhere between, say, three and 500 bucks roughly. Uh, so I've decided to see what's wrong with this motor. Um, it turns pretty well, uh, so we're going to take it apart. Anyway, I've loosened it already. What I had to do was I took these bolts out, which are 7 16 bolts, and they go through the whole, the whole motor, like on generally any electric motor. Uh, you can see um, they come out these holes right here in the case in the front. Uh, those holes are threaded. Um, so it holds the whole motor, the front half, and the back half of the case together. Uh, when you get this thing apart, um, my wires at one point right here had melted because there was a short or some problem that overheated it. I fixed these. Um, however, the controller inside the truck was still throwing an error code. So we're going to take this motor apart and see what kind of damage there is on the inside. Uh, after you get out both of these two bolts, uh, you can take these halves apart. We'll take out the last remaining bolt. Uh, it is loose, so at this point I can just slide the whole mechanism out. Now you want to be careful because right here, that's from the factory. They put this sealant on there so that the motor doesn't get corroded inside of there. You'll have to cut right around there probably or loosen that with a screwdriver to get that to come out because that little grommet fits inside of there pretty tight. Now also, whenever you take a motor apart, there's usually a seal or a gasket in here. That's really tough to get out of there sometimes. Um, so you'll want to take a, something really small, uh, like, like one of these little picks or something, and try to clean that out. Then carefully, you'll want to try to take a fine screwdriver or something and wedge that, sort of turn it sideways uh, to try to get that apart. Uh, as you wedge that, you want to work your way all the way around, this side and the opposite side, and all the way around evenly because there's bearings right here in the front, and there's always a bearing right here in the back that holds the shaft. So it wants to sit on that bearing. So you kind of have to go back and forth like this as you get it off of there to get it off of the shaft. Um, then gently separate the wires from the case like that and then the whole thing should just come loose at that point like so. That's the whole thing come loose. Um, you can also take the front of it off if need be but just to get to the wires you don't have to. We're going to look inside this and oh yeah we can see there's definitely been some heat damage on there. Um, in general, copper looks okay, but it definitely needs cleaned up. There's some melting and some carbon that's going on because it's got hot. Uh, what else we can see, though, on this is that um, the motor still spins really easy and freely. This motor was not locked up, so I figured it was just some electrical shorting or electrical wiring. So we're going to set this thing up. Aside for right now, we're going to get back over here to take a look at the electrical bit of it. And as I set it down, we'll see that's how the screw comes all the way out through there. Once you get this apart, 
I'm going to do this one hand and take a video. It's a little tough. But once you get the part, that's what this looks like on the back side. Um, typically, it'll have a spade, a male and female spade terminal right here where your motor hooks up. Uh, and as I see it, it's pretty obvious right away that we have um, some burnt wire right there. You can see it's really burnt. Uh, burnt pretty crispy. Um, there's some discoloration on the motor. Uh, however, the magnets, the magnets and whatnot, they do look good still. Uh, the magnets are in good shape. They're moving freely. This bearing right down here, uh, it is spinning really easily by my finger, so I don't think there's any problem with the bearing, which is really good news. Um, however, this wire is going to need to be replaced. So if I see over here, this wire comes straight over this way, uh, and it comes down right here to a crimped on terminal, and that terminal just gets connected to that um, magnet, that copper winding right there. You can see. So I'm going to take this off and probably try to get some 10 gauge wire, which is what this is, 125 degree uh, 10 gauge wire. We're going to take this out of the grommet. We're going to clean everything up. They're going to replace that wire. Also, while we're at it, I want you to notice that there's screws in here. There's one screw right there, and there's one screw right here, and there should be one here and one there that I've already taken out. But what I'm going to do is take this apart so you can see the other side of what this motor looks like. Now I've got this whole piece loose. This is the bearing, and it's fine. We'll clean all this up when we get ready to put the motor back together, make sure everything's nice and clean. And then look back to here is where the uh, wires were at, connected. They're going to need to be... Uh, replaced. Now if we flip it over and take a look at the other side, it's pretty simple. Once again, we see the ground wire there is really burnt. Uh, it's no wonder the thing was shorting out. It's really burnt and there's some uh, plastic and stuff on the back side of that magnet. So we're going to clean all this off. Um, we're going to put some new wires on this thing, put them back through the grommet and put it back together. Uh, after I have this thing cleaned up, um, I'll get back uh, another video for the assembly portion of it, and uh, we'll go from there.